Welcome back to my morning report, chart appraisers on Wednesday, the 27th of January, with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Antet Markets. Let's look at this year, and we're basically dead flat, um, and that comes in front of the Fed. We've got the Fed meeting tonight, the FOMC announcement at seven o'clock UK time, and the euro is stable in front of it. Um, no massive surprise there. Um, we've just picked up slightly off that old floor. Um, the old floor is getting re is getting increasingly tested, though, isn't it? Um, and that sort of leads leaves me a little bit to, with a bearish bias. Um, you've got the sort of sequence of lower highs here. The momentum indicator is just on a general sensor, just drifting lower. And it sort of leads you to think that we're going to be testing the old floor uh, increasingly, 108.10. Um, but at the moment, as I said, in front of the Fed, we are pretty much dead flat. Um, Fed's likely to give some direction, certainly near term anyway, tonight. Um, expectation is for no change on rates, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do to the statement if the uh, if the doves on the committee do um, start to uh, influence once again um, by sort of adding in sort of some slightly um, just sort of uh, cautious comments, shall we just call them, um, into the statement. And that could sort of lead the market to think that uh, the uh, the dollar is, uh, sorry, that the uh, Fed's not going to hike rates in March. That could sort of induce a bit of a technical rally on uh, on the the euro. But in front of the in front of this meeting, the euro is pretty much dead flat, and the technicals are just slightly drifting in a bearish fashion bearish fashion but nothing significant in any way I'm still very much neutral on this uh, on this euro chart here we go on the alley chart we've actually sort of now starting to break back above uh, 10860 uh, next resistance on the upside 109 figure then 10920 uh, that comes in but again these are really small intraday um, sort of resistances within the trading band um, the main sort of line of support, obviously 108 area, and then 109.50 being uh, where the resistance starts to come back in, uh, sort of 40 pips or so of resistance up towards 109.90. So unless you get the um, the breakout, I think a decisive move below 108 figure or above 109.90, I don't really think you can take too much um, at the moment in terms of directional moves on the euro. So that's my outlook, and I wish you good luck in your trading today. Thank you very much.